Hello, happy Food Porn Friday, my food porn perverts. You're probably wondering what I am stirring up in the crock pot this week. Well, it is my own version of a very popular soup at Olive Garden called Zuppa Discana. If you are wondering what that is, if you've never had Zuppa Discana before, it is a very creamy, milky base with potatoes and kale and sausage with onions and garlic and it's really super good and this week I am going to show you how to make my version of Zuppa, Zuppa Discana. Now at Olive Garden they had the regular Zuppa Discana with sausage and bacon and this week I am actually going to be doing my own twist where I am going to be making this with turkey sausage and turkey bacon and You've, here right now you see the finished product, but now I'm going to show you how you can put it all together. All right, before we put together our own knockoff version of Zupa Discana, here is what you're going to need. According to the recipe, bacon is actually optional, but I have chosen to stick with bacon, so I am using turkey bacon, which is 50% less fat, and it cooks a lot better and crispier than pork bacon. Because you notice that with pork bacon, when you stick it in soup, the bacon gets all rubbery and icky and gross. Well, I don't have that problem with turkey bacon, so I'm do choosing to use turkey bacon for this particular recipe. So whatever bacon you choose, that is your choice. But I am preferring to use turkey bacon because one, is 50% less fat and it's better for you. Also, for the sausage, I have chosen to do the Jenny O turkey breast sausage, and that is also 50% less fat. As a matter of fact, it has six grams of fat. So I have done two pounds of this, and most important, we're gonna need kale to add towards the end when we cook our soup. And then for the soup base, I have chosen to use organic free-range chicken broth, which is also low in sodium and a lot better for you. And if you notice that in the soup, there are like potato chunks. Well, I have chosen to get four large russet potatoes. What we're not going to do here is that we're not going to peel them. What we're going to do is scrub them down and chop them into one-inch chunks. And then what I'm also going to use here is I actually had half of an onion from a previous soup recipe that I did. So I just bought another onion since I'm making a double batch. And I'm also going to use like four cloves of garlic. So that is what you need for your Zupa Discana knockoff. As for the meat, do whatever meat choice you want. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start putting it together. And the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to start cooking the bacon and browning the meat. Okay, now we have our turkey sausage in the pan, and what I'm gonna do to save time is, if you remember the turkey bacon that I showed you earlier, I have actually cut that up into little pieces, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown the sausage and cook the bacon at the same time. Since this is both the same type of meat, I won't have to worry about mixing the flavors, and, and it will save a lot of time. So we're going to start browning the meat right now. together. Since they're both a turkey product, we don't really have to worry about turkinosis or half raw bacon 
in the soup. So it will be like pretty much almost 99.0% lean, especially when it comes to the bacon and the sausage. And now we're going to start combining the rest of the ingredients together. Okay, all of the ingredients are prepared. We have our turkey, bacon, and turkey sausage combo, which is already drained. We also have in this little bowl right here, we have a combination of the onions and the garlic. I did that together to save time. And then we have the four russet potatoes along with two quarts of water. And now we are going to combine everything and let that cook for about three hours. ingredients are mixed together we will be back in about two to three hours to add the cream and the kale after it's cooked down a little bit and we're gonna see how it looks then okay you guys we're back about three to four hours later as you can tell the potatoes have cooked down a little bit and the onions are a little bit opaque which is a good thing that's exactly what you want now this is the part where we're going to add four cups of kale. I know that's a lot of kale, but when you put the kale into the soup, it's going to cook down. And then we have also pre-measured in this little container right here. I don't know if you could see that. Two cups of heavy whipping cream, and we're going to mix those in. mixed together what we're going to do is that we're going to cover it back up with a lid and it's still going to be on high for about another 30 minutes and here it is the replica of Zupa Descana from Olive Garden and it is really really good I've already tried some it is very very delicious I can guarantee it is because well I had about two bowls of the shit, but it's really super good, and it's it took a little longer to cook than usual because, well, I forgot to actually, actually cut the potatoes smaller, but it was worth the wait. Here it is. It looks so beautiful with the kale and the sausage and the turkey bacon and the potatoes and Oh my god, if you haven't had a chance to try this at home, I suggest that you all do. Now, if you guys want to see more of my food porn, I have food porn every single Friday on my Instagram. And if you want to know how to make this particular Zupa Descana recipe, I have included the recipe in the description box below. And if you tried it, feel free to leave a comment, let me know how you did it. And I will comment right back. So anyway, this has been another exciting episode of Food Porn Friday. And I will see you guys next time.